Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I create custom lettering in this gritty dry brush style in Adobe Illustrator so that you can create your own personalized text and really make it unique instead of just using a standard font. Now for this tutorial, I'll mostly be using the pen tool to create letters. So for those of you who are not familiar with the pen tool, I suggest watching my beginner's guide beforehand. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the pen tool, so feel free to check that out. I'll leave a link in the video description. All right, so let's start by creating a new Illustrator document. I'm going to make this one 10 by 10 inches, but it doesn't really matter since we're going to be creating vector text, which can be scaled up and down as much as you want without losing resolution. So now that we have our document ready, we'll need to go ahead and download some brushes. I found these awesome Illustrator brushes offered by Spoon Graphics. These are 24 high quality vector brushes and Chris from Spoon Graphics is giving them away for free. So big shout out to Chris for the freebies. I'll leave a download link in the video description and I'm also going to leave a link to Spoon Graphics' channel for those of you who aren't familiar with him. His channel is filled with amazing Photoshop and Illustrator tutorials so you guys should definitely check it out. Alright, so once you've downloaded the brushes, you can go ahead and unzip the file. Then go back to Illustrator and open your brushes palette by going to Window and then selecting Brushes. Now you can go up here in the Brushes menu and then go down to Open Brush Library and select Other Library. Then you can navigate to wherever you saved the brushes you just downloaded and open the Brushes file. You should now have a new brush palette with all of your new brushes. And I'm just going to close this one here. All right, now you can either start tracing freestyle, which is fine, or you can sketch out your word on paper and then scan it to have a general idea of the style you're going for, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to drag and drop this sketch to my artboard. If you don't have a scanner, you can just take a picture of your sketch with your phone and upload that to your computer, which will work just fine. Now I'm just going to make it bigger by holding down Alt and Shift to keep everything proportionate and then dragging this upper corner. And I'm going to take down the opacity up here to about 30% so I can still see it as a reference in the background but it's not too dark. Then make sure you have your sketch selected and press Command 2 or Control 2 on PC to lock your sketch so you can't accidentally move it around later on. All right, now let's start tracing our letters. So let's go ahead and bring up the pen tool by pressing P. And then make sure that the fill color down here is set to none and that the stroke is set to black or any other color. So I'll start by tracing this part of the B here by creating my first path right here in the middle of the bar. And then I'll select one of the brushes we just downloaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick this one. Now the weight of the brush is a bit too thin, so I'm going to go to the stroke palette and increase the weight to match my sketch. This looks good enough. And I'm just going to adjust the shape by moving the control points and the handles until I'm satisfied. Now this looks pretty good, so I can move on and trace the rest of this B. So again I'm going to start tracing right here in the middle of the weight of the letter and try to follow the shape. And keep in mind that it's usually best to create your letters with as few points as possible, so it's easier to adjust afterwards. Now since we have a hard angle here, I'm going to break my path by holding down Alt and then bringing my handle all the way up here. And I'm just going to keep going and adjust things as I go. Then I can go on and select one of the dry brushes. Try and select different brushes every once in a while to create some variations so that it looks more natural. I'll just go with this one for now, but we can always change the brush later on. And again, I'll bring the weight up so it looks thicker. Now the weight of the stroke is pretty even all around, which is fine if you're going for more of a monoline script style, but as you can tell from my sketch, I'm going for something with a lot of weight variations, where the top of the letters are very wide and it gets narrower towards the bottom. 
So I'm going to adjust this with the Width tool, which you can find right here, or by pressing Shift and W. Now I can go ahead and make these upper parts wider. You can adjust the width anywhere along your path, but I suggest only altering it where you already have anchor points. And as I'm heading towards the bottom of the letter, I progressively make the weight smaller. Now let's say I wanted this part to be a bit rounder instead of straight. I could grab this handle right here and then bring it back out like this. And don't be afraid to mess around with the shape and the weight of the letters to figure out what style you like best. Alright, so now I want to adjust the weight of this bar, but I can't access the control points because this path is placed behind this one. So my control points keep snapping on this one. So I'm just going to select this path and then go to Object, Arrange, and then Bring to Front. That way I can adjust these control points without snapping on this path all the time. So again, I'm going to make it wider at the top and thinner at the bottom. Alright, so I'm just going to repeat the same technique for the rest of the letters and I'm just going to speed this up a little bit so you guys can see the whole process. Okay, so once all the letters are done, you can adjust the scaling on each letter so that they're all roughly the same size. And then feel free to move them around just to make sure that the spacing between the letters is consistent. By doing this, the composition of your word will look much more uniform as a whole. Once you're satisfied with the overall result, I would suggest duplicating your word by selecting everything and then keeping Alt pressed and then dragging it out to make a copy. So this one would be your backup in case you want to go back and change anything. Now again, select the whole word, then go to Object and select Expand Appearance, which is going to outline all of your paths. This will allow you to scale your word up and down without deforming your strokes. Then you can group all the letters together by selecting everything and pressing Command G or Control G on PC just to make sure that everything stays together. Now I'm just going to get rid of this sketch in the background since we don't need it anymore. So I'll just go back up here to Object and select Unlock All. I can then select my sketch and just delete it. Now you can always go back and edit parts of your text. And let's say I want to change the color for example, I can just select my word and then double click over here in the fill color and select any color I want. You can also select your word and then copy and paste it in a Photoshop document if you want to use it over a certain background or a picture for example. 
And keep in mind that this is a vector object, so you can scale it up and down as much as you want without losing any resolution. So that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll try different types of lettering styles using this technique. And as usual, if you plan on posting this on Instagram, make sure to tag me because I'd love to see what you guys do with this. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.